YouTube, I have returned. Welcome to Dark Hero Cosplay, everybody. Today, I'm going to be showing off my new Robert Pattinson Batman cow by Fanatic FX. So without further ado, let's get started. Now take a look at this bad boy. Now, the prop maker that makes this is Fanatic FX. You can find them on Instagram and on Etsy. And this is by far probably the best Robert Pattinson Batman cow that you can get on the market at this point in time. The detail on this is so wonderful and you look even, the person wearing it looks dangerous. At first, I didn't know how I felt about Robert Pattinson's Batman cow, but it's really grown on me now that I've seen it in motion and we've gotten an actual trailer for it. I was always on board with him playing Batman. I was like, let's see what he does and just based off of the trailer alone, he looks fantastic but we're getting off topic we're talking about this cow this is great it is movie quality and I can see this lasting a very long time for years to come and for many cons and many cosplays whatever you're trying to do let's start off from top to bottom now the ears on this I was very surprised these are actually quite solid but once you get to the top right here it's a little bit looser but that's to be expected this is a urethane cow if you were wondering now, you can see, when you turn it to the side, and then to the back, it looks a lot like the movie. This is so good, so good quality. Now, another thing to keep in mind, when you're wearing this cowl and when you put it on, it's probably best to wet your head first. Do not use Vaseline because that will degrade the urethane cowl and cause cracks and, and breaks inside of it, and unless you're a prop maker yourself, that's going to cost you a lot of money in, in order to repair it, but um, moving on, the brow, the brow on this cow looks so good, and guys, I highly recommend if you're going to get this cow that you purchase the black eye makeup as well. I haven't tried putting in white eyes, though I think that would look cool too, but if you put the black eye makeup on, it makes you look dangerous. It is so cool. And another thing I should add, Fanatic FX offers this in two sizes. There's a 23 inch head, if I'm not mistaken. It's either, it's 23 inches, and then they have a 24 and a half inch head. I chose to get the 24 and a half because my head is about 23 and a half inches. Now, of course, you're gonna have a little bit extra room in this cowl, but you can also use foam to put inside of there and make it fit properly. Always do that when you're purchasing a Batman cowl. If you are trying, if you are stuck between two sizes, always go with the bigger size, because you can always modify that bigger size to make it fit your head properly. But I'm gonna try this on for you guys. I am gonna put on the black eye makeup so you can see. Uh, but this is the collar piece that comes with it. He offers the whole entire costume for about over, I think it's about $1,300, but that's only if you got the money to do so, but it's, it looks like it's well worth the money because this, this right here is, like I said, the best Robert Pattinson Batman cow you're probably gonna get on the market, but I'm done chatting. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna go get my makeup on for you guys so you can see what it looks like. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how to put on the black eye makeup. I got some liquid makeup right here. This is probably not the best thing that you could be using to put on the black eye makeup, but this is what I have on hand right now. I'm gonna use this little applicator. And um, I also have this spray bottle of water just to help me put the cowl on. So without further ado, I'm just gonna stop chatting and just show you guys the process. Okay guys, so right now I'm just applying the black eye makeup on and I'm dabbing and not really brushing the sponge across my face. Just make sure to close your eyes very tightly when applying this makeup because it's going to be a really big hassle if you get this in your eye uh, just to keep yourself safe but get back to the video. Alright so now that the black eye makeup is dried up I got these two pieces of foam with me. I cut it out of a foam sheet that I picked up from Walmart. You can buy it at any Arts and Crafts store. It doesn't have to be Walmart. You can go to Garden Ridge or Hobby Lobby. But now, 
I'm gonna spray the inside of the cowl. Helps it slip on better. All right guys, so this is the cowl being worn. And I gotta say guys, this is, this is a 10 out of 10 in my book. And again, you put the eye makeup on, you look dangerous. <laughs> I know I keep, I've said that like three times already in the video, but I, that makes all the difference in the world. That's what makes it not look like a party city suit. But just to show you guys the full 360 view, here's the front view, the side view, from the back, the other side, and full on again. Again, this is really comfortable to wear. It, I feel like I could wear this for hours. Like, it just, it's so comfortable and I can hear everything. It's, it's, it's great guys. I, I know I'm at a loss for words here, but it, every time I wear this college, it just feels like it's the first time. And just the detailing. I could imagine how scary or creepy somebody would look with it in the right lighting. I'm in the bathroom now, everything can be seen, but if you imagine somebody looking at you with these these dark eyes, it would scare the heck out of you. <laughs> but, um, Fanatic Effects did a fantastic job. I give this a, a 10 out of 10. Not just because this is my, my first cow, but I was looking everywhere where I would where I wanted to find and buy my first cow from, and this one really grabbed my attention, especially but this is because this is the version 2 and it's updated. It looks just like the movie and I was, I'm completely satisfied with my purchase. I highly recommend Fanatic FX and I will definitely be back to buy more cows because this is, this is amazing. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I usually do Power Ranger and Spider-Man cosplay, which reminds me. I have updated my Red Ranger suit and my Green Ranger suit, so keep a lookout for those videos uh, coming up next. I also want to buy the rest of this suit. I don't, I'm not really sure when I'm going to do get around to that because I still have to pay for college and tuition, but once that's all out of the way, I plan on you know, putting the rest of this suit, uh, buying the rest of the, the parts for this suit, which I think is going to look awesome. But keep an eye out for those videos. If you like what you saw today, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out. God bless.